ending your Sunday morning with us. We're in today's Critter Corner. And we have a Nigerian dwarf goat named Pepper. That's who I was talking to. Tiffany with Inspire Farms is here to talk a little bit about this breed. A very curious, doesn't want to have anything to do with me. Not yet. Just wants to explore <laughs> the studio. Tell us a little bit about this little baby goat. Well, she was born on April 15th, which makes that a better day for us. Yeah. <laughs> so she's about nine weeks old now. And she's a Nigerian dwarf, so she's a she's a small goat. Okay. Um, but the but reason big for <clears throat> nine weeks, I thought. I was they, expecting they grow smaller. really quickly, right? So yeah, so she'll be full grown here real soon, and that will be 70 pounds. Wow. So like a small dog, though. So yeah. so people love these goats because they make good pets. And where are they native to? These breeds. Africa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nigeria. And so tell me a little bit about their behavior. Do they run in packs? What do they eat? They you if you have goats, you always want to have at least two. Okay. Because they they really get lonely. They're very social, so they need to have a friend. Okay. Um, but other than that, they're super fun. They're animated. They have lots of energy, especially kids. I always say if, if you're thinking about having children, you should get a goat kid first. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Not a dog, but a goat kid, everyone. Oh, they'll, they'll eat everything. They'll stand on everything. Well, what does she eat? Because I, I asked you about bringing snacks and treats, and you said she's not really into those yet. No, not yet. She's still doing mama's milk right now. Okay. Um, but, but my business with Inspire Farms is organic, non-GMO food mm -hmm. for farm animals. And so what her mom is on right now, and she'll move to eventually, is um, dairy goat livestock feed, which is soy-free, corn-free. And they love it. So that's their favorite thing, that and Bermuda hay. How fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is she eating now? Because she's got she's, something. She's eating whatever she can find. Okay. And this is this is why that's I think what they're good, good that's kid treats. <laughs> you have to watch them. Uh, so talk about if someone were to want one as a pet or to raise one, maybe even for the goat's milk, what is what does it entail? Uh, well, just like most pets, you need to feed them every day mm -hmm. and talk to them every day and clean up after them every day. Mm -hmm. um, I would recommend um, a yard with uh, a dedicated space just for them. Um, because they will eat your trees, um, but they're but they're browsers, so they won't eat everything. Okay. Um, but they're they will. They will, they will. They will nibble on your garden. Okay. What's going on with you over here? <laughs> Probably smells. What's, she's not used to. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> she just will not acknowledge my presence at all. I love it. So people can come out and maybe learn from you. I do. I do private meetings with people because okay. my farm is in my backyard. Right. Very small. Um, so yeah, it's very small and very private. But we do have um, kids who come through, and we do art on the farm as well. So they come and they oh, paint fun. with me. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. And um, and the feed shop is in downtown Mesa, so that's not in my home. Okay. Um, and we do that mainly on a, a monthly feed order. So we try to get everyone to order at the okay. same time, and we can do a price break. So that how do way. people get a hold of you? Um, Inspirefarms.com. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Bye, Pepper. Thanks for visiting. Maybe next time you'll be bigger and we can play more. Right? Yeah. Right, baby Hi. girl. How pretty is she? Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. Up next.